Hello guys, in this video tutorial I will show you how to make Impeller in FreeCAD in part workbench. Uh, so let's create a helix. It is a split of our propeller. I will set pitch, height, radius of the helix. Um, it is a random values for that and I will create three times and renamed uh, helix it is shroud average and hub it is will it will be uh, different splits of our blade um, okay and for average and hub i will change radius and it, it will be uh, average split and hub split okay the next step is uh, uh, rotation of our splits uh, because in impeller we have uh, uh, some uh, circled leading edge and I will change the position of uh, our split okay I will make it uh, for shroud and for hub or for average uh, for hub uh, I set zero uh, it is default value okay and uh, we will make some correction for our splits because we want to have uh, straightforward uh, trailing edge The next step is uh, creation loft between our uh, splits. Okay, I will make um, the surface of blade. Uh, now it has zero thickness and I will correct uh, the position of average split. Uh, it change the form power blade the next step is correction of thickness of our blade it will be a constant thickness for wall blade. Uh, I made three millimeters. So um, now we have our blade and mm, looks good. Okay. So in Sketcher we will create the sketch for uh, hub part. We will make it some bigger than hub of blade. Uh, it can give us possibility for creation one solid part and I will uh, make for sketch in part workbench uh, it extrude in that direction uh, yes and we'll set 150 height and we rotate some our blade f uh, because we have this line uh, and we want to change the position of blade okay let's make boolean operation uh, and we will fuse our hub 
and bleed. Uh, so now we have one solid and we can make uh, some rounding uh, for our edges. Uh, at for leading edge we will make uh, filled edge. We can set some at one millimeter and for trilling edge we will make also okay so uh, we have good leading and trilling edge of our blade uh, and for now uh, we for these edges uh, make also filled edges comment this rounding yes We have to make it for all edges and how you can see we have good field. Uh, we can make it some bigger, okay, 4 millimeters uh, looks good. Okay, now we have to change the number of um, our blades. Uh, for that we have go to draft workbench and make a polar array for this okay polar uh, and uh, i want to set uh, three blades okay uh, yes and we have made fuse um, because uh, we will want we want to have one solid it will be correct part yes and how you can see we made uh, we have made uh, the propeller and now we have to make hole for shaft okay let's go to sketcher workbench and create sketch on our face yes uh, on this face so we can make the hole uh, for shaft I set some random value of shaft um, in good way it is a calculation of stress um, because we have some power on our shaft uh, Okay, uh, let's delete uh, of some edges. <coughs> this also. Okay, uh, now we have uh, this sketch on uh, for hull for shaft, and we will have we uh, will make this extrude this hole and. Uh, um, Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, now we uh, can delete the this part extrude two and our array from our array. Yes. Uh, we can make it this comment and uh, how you can see we have made the hole uh, and it is finish yes thanks for watching subscribe